welcome to this week's stretch and release class. I'd like you to find your space onto your mat and come and sit how you're comfortable. Um, some of you might need a little pillow underneath your bottom just to lift your hips up a little bit. Come and sit nice and comfortably. If you can cross your legs, join me here. So I want you to just lengthen up through your spine, feel yourself lifted. Take a nice deep breath in for me. And again, remember what we're, our aim of the ribs, to try and get a nice big breath in. The lower part of the ribs want to expand out. So slow breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Good, slow breath in. And slow breath out. Good. Now as you take a breath in, I want you to use your arms to increase that movement of your ribs. So we're going to slow breath in. And bring your arms down to your side as you breathe out. Good, a couple more. Reach your hands up high and breathe out. Lovely. This time as you come to the top, breath in, keep your arms up to the top and see if you can lean over to one side. Hips, try and keep your sitting bone, both sitting bones onto the mat and lean over to the side so we get that nice stretch through your ribs and through your side there. Gently come back up to centre and we're going off over to the other side again. Keep your hip bone or your sitting bones onto the uh, onto the mat. If it starts to raise up, we lose that stretch through your side. So pin those sit bones down onto the mat. Come back up to centre. Let's go over to the first side again. And reach. There we go. Come back up through centre and off to the other side. We'll do this a couple more times. And I want us to try and get deeper into the stretch each time. You might have to work a little bit harder on um, keeping your um, sit bones focused onto your mat. Lovely, but you should enjoy a nice stretch coming up and through your side. Lovely. Last one coming over to the side. This time from here, I want you to now push your hands. So take hold one hand behind the other and push your hands up towards the ceiling. And as you start to come, bring your hands now down towards the floor, stretch your back forward so you can feel that lengthening coming through your spine. And we're gonna take it in a nice circle across to the other side and then tilt yourself so you're coming into that side bending stretch as you come up to the top again. Okay, so again, we're still focusing on keeping those sitting bones on to the, onto the mat. Take yourself off to the side again Stretch your hands forward, now reach through the arms, feel your shoulder blades separate as you take your arms around towards the side, tilt to come back up to that side bending, lean up towards the top. Let's do one more going around this way and then we're gonna to switch to go around the other way. Here we go, lengthening through the spine. Tilt your shoulder to lead up with the, that um, top arm. Lovely, let's go off to the other side. So we're coming down to the side stretch your hands, reach forward. As imagine you're pushing that wall away from you as you circle yourself round and then lift yourself back up to center again. Here we go, off to the side. Stretch your hands round, reach. Think about circling through the spine now as well. It's getting a little bit easier with these circles. Last one coming off here, reach yourself round. Scoop it back up to the top and let your arms come and softly come down towards the side. Brilliant. Now, from here, we're going to take one leg out towards the side. We're going to come into our mermaid stretches. Now we've started to lengthen and wake up those muscles through the centre part of our um, back, upper, um, upper shoulders. Let's go into our mermaid stretches. So the leg that's tucked in front of you, that's the hand that comes down towards the mat. Other arm's gonna reach over the top. Make a nice C curve with your arm and float it all the way back over. Spin the arm, other arm up and feel that stretch. There we go. We've already started to work these muscles. So hopefully we're just focusing on range of movement here and getting a little bit deeper into those stretches. Spin the arms over, reach. Lovely. A couple more like this. Take that top arm over. We can start to make the bottom arm 
bend. So as you come here, let that elbow bend so you can get deeper down into that stretch. There we go. Bend that elbow, take yourself over. Lovely, last one like this. Fantastic, let your arms rest down. So from here now, I want you to take um, one leg or the, um, I don't know if I'm thinking how to word it there. So the leg that's tucked in front of you, the other leg is going out um, to the side. Use the hand with the leg that's put tucked in front of you. That's the hand that's gonna come down and just stabilize you onto the mat. So from here, your hip, I'm gonna allow you to open the hips out, just let your hips sink back. And then we're gonna use the hips to rotate in a little bit. That's it. Let your hips sink down. So we're opening up through the hip and then use your, um, use, your, use your glutes to roll the hip forward. So we're starting to get a length through that inner thigh there. So hip sinks back and then roll it forwards. As you roll the leg forwards, your foot should come more flat onto the ground. As you roll back, your toes are starting to pivot up. So we're getting a whole rotation through the hip there, but getting that loosening through the inner thigh there. Lovely. Just do a couple more of those. Easing yourself in and out of that rotation. There we go. Now see if you can keep that hip uh, facing forwards. And what we're going to do is we're going to bend, for, uh, bend forwards through the low back, through the chest, across that front um, knee. If this is too uncomfortable for the leg out there, you can tuck it back beside you. But if we can keep that length there and see if we can fold forwards, we're going to do it as a nice lengthen. So I want you to come up into your spine and roll the hips forward. Let your chest drop down towards the floor and walk your hands forward. So again, you're feeling that stretch through the inner thigh, but you're walking your hands forwards coming deep down into this forward fold. Walk your fingertips as far forwards as you can and let your head rest down towards the floor. Hold it here, take a few deep breaths. Good, and breath out. As you breathe out, let everything soften and loosen as you come deeper into the stretch. Fantastic. One more deep breath in and walk those fingers forward. Fantastic. Gently bring your hands back, uncurl yourself out of that position. Keep your leg out straight if you can. If you've had to bend it, see if it can go long again. Pop your opposite hand bend down onto the mat and we're gonna come into a lovely full side bend. So bring the arm over, drop the elbow that's on the floor down to the mat and feel that stretch. Now we've really worked on that side bending and lengthening through your side. This top arm as it comes over should stretch as far forwards as you can. Reach off the edge of your mat and just hold it there. So we're lengthening all the way from tip of fingers to tip of toes. You can work with your breathing again here, so take a nice breath in, and as you breathe out, stretch that top arm a bit further forwards, breathe in, and breathe out, reach, lovely. Last one, breathe in, and breathe out, stretch the fingertips forwards, lovely, and then float the arm back up and over, perfect. Let's spin the legs around yourself onto the other side so again we've got this leg tucked in front other leg round tucked behind you we're going into our mermaid um, movement first of all so hand we're going to start coming down to the side of the leg in front of you let that arm come over in a nice c curve and float up and over lovely so here we go we're loosening all the movement through the spine in that nice side bending movement there we go float the arms over reach with your fingertips think about length through the arms and length through the spine make sure you haven't just slumped down into your pelvis so lift up through your low back through the upper back and spin those arms over lovely and now start to bend that lower arm as you come deeper into the stretch so the hand that's coming down on the side of the leg that's bent in front of you that's the elbow that's going to drop down towards your mat giving you a little bit more length couple more. Here we go, finish up with this one. 
And if you remember, we're going to straighten that um, leg that's tucked behind you. You're going to straighten that leg out. And we're going to roll off the sit bones and allow the hips to open. So allow the hips to drop back. And then you're going to use your hips, use your glutes to rotate the hips forwards. Here's where that lengthening comes through that inner thigh there. Let it sit back. Squeeze your glutes, lift it up, come forwards. Nice, good. Rotate it back and come up and forward. Nice, good. There we go. And then we can either keep the leg out straight or if you need to tuck it round um, beside you again, we're going to come into our nice forward fold. I think my hip is a little bit less flexible this side, so I'm going to tuck it back this time and show you the alternative this way. So from here, lift up through your spine, um, fold forwards from your hips so your sit bones are going to rock you forwards hands come down onto the floor and walk them forwards as you come down into that stretch here good so we're lengthening through your back you've started to get a stretch through your glutes if your leg is still out straight you're going to feel that all the way through your adductor muscles so the inner thighs take a nice breath in and as you breathe out walk your fingertips a bit further forwards good breathe in and breathe out, stretch your fingers forwards a bit more. Last one here. Sink down, lovely. Gently uncurl yourself, coming all the way back. Build the spine up nice and tall, lovely. If you've got your leg bent like me, we're going to straighten it back out again. Opposite hand um, is going to come onto the, the mat beside you. And here we go, we're going to reach all the way over and take it into a deep stretch. Let that elbow come down onto the mat and reach your fingertips as far forwards as you can. Good. Hold it there. As you breathe out, see if you can reach your fingertips a bit further forwards. Good. Breathe in. And breathe out. Reach a bit further forwards. Nice. Good. And gently come up and out of that position. Here we go, we're going to come all the way down onto your backs. And take yourself down onto your back, find your nice neutral position, feet are hip width apart, and we're just going to rock the pelvis forwards and backwards. So we imagine you've got that bowl of water, you're tilting the water out towards your toes and then out towards your head, just rolling through the pelvis. Tilt forwards, tilt backwards. Good. This time, as we start to tilt the hips backwards, do a little lift of your bottom, let it come up and start to loosen through the low back. Tilt all the way so you're arching your back, roll the hips up towards you, do a little lift of your hips and feel that stretch starting to ease through your low back, just rolling those hips forwards and backwards a little bit more. There we go, each time you roll, try and get a bit further lovely perfect okay so from here we're going to take one foot on to the opposite knee and let the knee drop out so we're starting to open up through the pelvis again we want to try and stretch through the glutes so the leg that you've lifted up let's try and get it fully rotated out now for some of you your knees will drop out beautifully for others your knee might be still around here that's fine don't force it try not to be tempted to push that knee out and round just let it go where it feels most comfortable we're going to use the other leg as a lever to create the stretch so your hands are going to come around the back of the thigh of the leg that you uh, was still on the ground now draw that knee up towards your chest so with this stretch now we should be starting to feel the stretch in your glutes of the leg that is crossed in front of you use your hands to pull your knee as close to your chest as you feel comfortable either the range of movement you can do or you can really feel it stretching in your glutes perfect now hold that position and with the leg or, or the thigh that you're holding that leg i want you to now stretch up towards the ceiling okay good we've got two for the price of one going on here so glutes should still be stretching and now we're also starting to lengthen the hamstring of the leg we're holding let's use the foot so that toes that are pointing up towards the ceiling point your toes and then push your heels up towards the ceiling. Everything's loosening through the legs now, hopefully. Point and flex, point and flex to through the ankle. Lovely. 
and then maybe with that leg that's um, or that foot that's pointing towards the ceiling give me a few circles so really rotate the ankle now and you'll feel that start to loosen off through the muscles around the ankle and through your lower calf as well lovely and opposite direction good perfect now let that knee rest down keep holding on to the back of your um your thigh and we're going to use your hands to guide your legs down now you can do this with both hands if you feel you can control, control it if not keep one hand so i've got hold of my left leg keep the left hand on there and pop the right hand down towards the floor just to stabilize you because we're going to drop everything down rotate through your back and drop everything down towards the floor the aim is to still keep um your knees up as close to your chest as you can so you don't want to have let go and let your legs disappear down towards the end of the mat we want to try and keep everything up and nice and close so that bottom knee is kind of at 90 degrees as we come over the top knee is facing well halfway between the ceiling and the and the floor you're going to use your hands on the top knee now just to encourage a little bit and i say encourage don't force just encourage it down towards the um, floor and you'll feel that stretch get deeper into your glutes there there we go, lovely. Maybe working with your breathing. So as you breathe out, draw the knee down towards the floor a bit more. When you breathe in, don't let go of the tension. Just notice the pressure build up. And as you breathe out, again, encourage it down. There we go. And one more nice deep breath for you here. So take that top knee and place it on top of the bottom knee. Use your hands onto the floor and rotate the knees up. That way you're protecting your back. Good. And we're going to go through the process, the whole thing with the other side. So this time take the other knee or the other ankle onto the opposite knee. Again, trying to create a nice open shape with the leg. So open through the pelvis, open through the, the knees. And remember, don't force it. If that knee doesn't drop out, don't force it too. Hands come along um, and grab round behind the back of the, the other thigh. So we're bringing you up into this stretch. So here we should be getting the stretch through your glutes, maybe a little bit through the hamstrings as well. Um, but just draw yourself into that stretch. Bring your knee as close to your chest as is comfortable, either through your uh, hips or hamstrings will let you. And then from here, when you're ready, you're gonna extend through the knee and straighten that leg up towards the ceiling. Start to feel that release of the hamstring, of the hamstring you're holding. And here we go, we're gonna point and flex through the ankle to mobilize through the back of the leg. Good. And then we can start to do a few circles. So rotate your ankle round one way. Notice how it lengthens different parts of the lower the muscles in the lower leg good and then change direction go around the other way nice. and when you're ready you're going to bend that knee down take yourself back to that 90 degree and we're going to roll over to the other side so again take one hand away and just stabilize yourself onto the floor i'm going to need to shuffle over a bit because i think there's enough room to go over um, and then help guide yourself down towards the floor as you bring your feet down. The knee should still come up nice and high. There we go. You can take your hand out from the bottom of your hamstring and come onto the top of your knee. And you can use that to help create a little bit more stretch as you guide the knee down towards the floor. Here's where the stretch is happening through your glutes. So you're working with your breathing, take a nice breath in, hold the tension. And as you breathe out, draw that knee down towards the floor a little bit more. Good. Breathe in, hold it, and breathe out, encourage it down some more. Two more breaths. Breathing in. And breathing out. Nice. Breathing in. And last one. Gently unfold, bring your feet and your knees together and rotate them back up to centre. Good. 
We loosen through the low back in rotation now. So we're going to drop the knees to one side, sweep them back up, drop them down towards the other side and feel that rotation happening through your low back. There we go. Loosen it through. Lovely. When you're ready, bring the knees up towards your chest again. Just circle them round so we've fully loosened off through low back. Circle them round one way. And then circle them round the other way. I'm going to get you to flip over and come onto all fours. Okay. So for this one, we're going to stretch through the uh, front of your forearms. So I want you to put your hands onto the mat in front of you as if we're coming to that all four position. But this time, as much as comfortable, bring your fingers around so they're pointing back towards your knees. And you're going to gently use your bottom to sink back onto your heels and feel that stretch through your forearms. It can be quite tight, so you might not get too far. Gently sit back, drive your hips back, feel that stretch. You'll feel your wrists, uh, your palms of your hands are coming off the mat. You need to focus on keeping the palms of your hands in contact with the mat. They can come up maybe a tiny bit, but if they come up too far, you're losing all that stretch. So there we go. Drive the hips back, feel the stretch. Gently release back up. Good. Sit the heels, the hips back. Good. Last one. Hopefully it's starting to ease through those forearms. Perfect. Come back, pop your hands back around so they're facing forwards. Shoulders over the top of your wrists, hips over the top of your knees. Give me a nice deep breath in, tuck under through the hips, round through the spine, push your shoulder blades up towards the ceiling and breathe out as you sink down, lift the hips, lift the chest. Good. Breathe in, come all the way up and breathe out as you sink back down and through. Lift the hips, lift the chest. Give me two more here, tuck under, really round that low back. Feel the space happening between every single one of those vertebrae. And then sink back down, lift the hips, lift the chest. Last one, tuck under, hold that stretch at the top as much as you can. Feel those shoulder blades separate around your spine. And then come back to center, good. I'm going to go into threading the needle. So again, still in all four position, take one hand and place it between your hand and your knees. And you're going to thread all the way through. So you're dropping your shoulder down towards the mat. Now stay in this position because we want to work with breathing here. The, the, arm, the other arm is going to end up bent. So don't feel you need to keep that straight. As you breathe in, you're going to hold your position. And as you breathe out, see if you can push that arm a little bit further through. Breathe in, hold your position, and breathe out, push it through. Last one here, breathe in, and breathe out and stretch it through. Good. Slowly slide the back of the hand back in, come back to that start position. Here we go with the other side. So take your hand, place it between your uh, hand and your knees, stretch the arm through, let the elbow come down, let the shoulder come down, come all the way down, the other arm is now bent. Take a nice breath in to hold and breathe out. Push your arm a bit further through. Good. Breathe in, hold. And breathe out, push through. Last one, breathe in. And breathe out, push it through. Fantastic. Gently come back up. Good. From here, tuck your toes under so that your um, toes are touching the mat. Your heels have come up higher. And we're going to sit down into your, your bottom, into your heels. So now we're trying to stretch the soles of your feet. Good. You can use your hands to create a little bit more traction or tension to push you back into that stretch. There we go. So really focus your hands into the mat and gently come off. Take yourself back if you can. And gently come off few more. Work yourself into the stretch. Sit back. Use your hands to help push you into it. It's surprising how tight the soles of your feet can get. There we go. One of the areas we don't always think to stretch. 
Lovely, last one. Good. So now we've like loosened the calf muscles and the soles of your feet. So we're gonna take it into a deeper stretch. For this one, you can come down onto your elbows, take one foot back. Again, keep your toes uh, tucked down into the mat, heel is high. Use your elbows to secure you into the mat and take your center of gravity backwards. So your heel is stretching further back than your toes. The stretch should come all the way now through your calf, um, lower leg and sole of your foot. Hold it. Again, we can try and work with breathing. So you maybe try a nice slow breath out and see if you can ease yourself deep, deeper into that stretch. Breathe in, hold your position and breathe out. See if you can push that heel back a little bit further. Watch if your knee's bent. See if you can try and straighten the knee to get that stretch. Good. And then gently come out of that stretch. Pop that knee down and take the other leg back. Lengthen that leg out straight. Watch your hips are square onto your mat so you're not lifting your hip up. Keep your hips square down. Root your toes into the mat and then use your elbows to drive the centre of gravity backwards and feel that stretch through your calf. Lovely. Take a nice breath in and breath out as you drive your heel back. Good. Breathe in to hold it and breathe out to try and push that heel back a bit further. Good. Last bit. Drive that heel back as far as you can. Make sure it's still comfortable stretch though. Lovely. And then gently come out of that. And we're gonna give, bring you back to sitting. Okay. Bring yourself back to a nice sitting position. Um, and from here, just rest your hands down. So we're going to work on rotating through the neck one side and just turn to look over to the other side. So again, when we move the neck, you can feel all sorts of popping, cracking. Some people say it sounds like Rice Krispies in there. If it doesn't hurt too much, don't worry about it. And let's see if we can get a little bit more range of movement each time. Slowly, don't make yourself dizzy. There we go, control that movement so you're getting that stretch at the end. Lovely. Okay, now I'm going to spin around, maybe you've got space where you are. I'm going to get you to take your legs out um, straight and I'm just going to get you to pop your hands behind you, point your fingers away and I want you to squeeze your shoulder blades together and lift your chest up towards the ceiling. There we go. So we're trying to open up through the chest. Take your eyes so you're looking up towards the corner of your room, as long as there's no tension through your neck. Lovely, just keep holding that for the stretch. Push your chest up as far as you can. And then gently come forwards and take yourself around into a forwards bend. So chin down to your chest, work your hands forwards, lengthen your arms. And see if you can grab hold, ankles or mid, mid calves, ankles, soles of your feet, wherever your hands can reach. We want to feel a nice opening through the lower back and then just that last deep stretch of the backs of the legs. Good. Nice, and gently bring yourselves back up again. Come back to your sitting position so we can have legs crossed here. And this time we're gonna drop one ear to one shoulder and gently bring it up the other side. Take your ear down to your shoulder and bring it back up. Take the ear down, that's it, feel the stretch. And then opposite side. Good. This time as you come off to the side, drop your chin down to the same side. So now the stretch should come from the side of your neck to more towards the back of your neck and sort of look up towards the ceiling as you come up and over. So head comes down, ear goes to the same side, chin goes to the same side. Feel that stretch through the side of your neck. Good. Rotate all the way up, rotate down, side bend it. Lovely. Good, one more to each side. Brilliant. 
finish up on this side and gently bring your head back to center from here i want you to bring your chin down towards your chest and imagine you're lengthening the back of your head it's almost like the double chin move so bring your chin in drop it down towards your chest and feel that length through the back of your neck you can try and increase this as well by sliding your shoulder blades down so you've got shoulder blades going down head coming up and over so you're creating that length through your neck through your spine And just gently come out of that stretch. Let yourself relax. Hands can come around to your knees, create a nice length through your arms and lift up through the spine. We'll do three nice deep breaths to finish. I want you to take a nice deep breath in through your nose, feel your ribs widen. And a breath out, let those ribs sink back in. Lovely. Deep breath in through your nose. And a breath out. Good, last one. And a slow breath out. Perfect, good. I hope you enjoyed that. Hopefully you're feeling nice and stretched, released and lengthened and I will see you on the next one.